Hey guys, Ben here from Session Media, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how we managed to rank our website position number two for the highly competitive term SEO agency. So for the last year or so, we've been doing a bit of a push on trying to rank for SEO agency, which is one of our commercially focused keywords. And if you go on incognito and do it from across the country, we can see we are currently appearing in the paid uh, listings here. We've also got a nice little localized SERP if you are around the Surrey area. And we are ranking um, just above that in SEO agency. Now, fair enough, that is from a local perspective, but also if we go on to national rankings, like Ahrefs, for example, we can see here that the SERP has us currently position number two. And ranking for this keyword is something that works really nicely for us from a bottom line perspective, because we have around 4, uh, 5,400 people per month looking for uh, SEO agencies via search engines, and that's just that term alone. It's around 30 pounds CPC, for example, if we were gonna bid on it through uh, Google Ads, which we do, as you saw in the last screen. And finally, we're position two. So we're getting a good amount of traffic. So this is one of our commercial terms, ties into getting a good flow of inbound leads for people that are looking for our services. But how did we get here? And in this video, I'm gonna go through the three-step process we went through. So step one is all around a technical foundation. And this is something that's very often overlooked within search engine marketing. And we see a lot of B2B sites, we audit a lot of B2B sites that are built in page builders. And page builders are great and they're easy to put together and it requires very little technical knowledge on behalf of the agency and it, they can do it quite quickly, which is why it's quite common. But the issue is it really bloats the code out and even though they still can pass some of the core web vitals, what we found is if a lot of the websites ranking on page one aren't bloated, then they're gonna be the ones that are promoted above the websites which have that heavy code. And just to prove a point, we built out our website, you can see on the screen here, in a completely custom build WordPress theme. And it's as light as it possibly can be, because we tied it to WordPress to make it nice and easy. And we also built out, this is the custom WordPress theme, we also built out the exact same website or a slight variation, but pretty much the same in a popular landing page builder called Beaver Builder. And one of the big things you can see here is if we scroll down, let's go and look at how lightweight the code is. So if we go and inspect, we can see here that on just this one section, the results you can rely on, it's got all of this up here, all of this is code from here that is associated with that one bit and a lot of divs we call this nesting and it's a lot of code just for that one little area it's a lot of yeah see so and then it sort of comes down to the next bit so we're still there yeah and it goes on to the next bit so there's a lot of code all of that up here is just for this one little section whereas if we go on and we look at our website here and scroll down to the same section inspect this bit here all the only bit which is associated with this is this little div here, section cases, oh sorry, section classes, section cases, and this little bit of code here, results you can rely on. And it's so lightweight, so we've got this one little line here versus all of this stuff which is put in for every single different line which your different div and different section you create within landing page builders. And you can defer that code and you can speed up on the face of it, but what we found is the quality of code does seem to make a big difference, especially as deciding factors in competitive niches. And if you're a B2B site and you can build your website cleanly and you can optimize the code to be as light as possible and best practice within that area, then we found it's really helped us rank in a competitive niche. We also did a big experiment where um, we looked at the site speed just off the basis of the initial builds. And you can see here that we had the uh, GT metrics score of A, on the custom build versus a GT metric score of C on the Beaver Builder um, out of the box. Again, you can manipulate the Beaver Builder ones by deferring and, and all the things you can do with the HTTP requests. But again, I won't go too much into those, but just shows the quality of the, the two different ones. So once we, we set our technical foundation, we moved on to look at the on-page. And the on-page, there's two sections really of on-page. One is what Google likes, one is what the user likes. What the user likes is always more important, but there's always the on-page optimization from a technical sense, which, which you need to look at. And also play around with And What you can see here is in one of our on-page tools, is you can see that 
we have, it's pulling us up as number three here, for SEO agency, we are probably around the optimization level they require. And I won't go too much into all the different elements this is made up of. But again, it's everything from content and length, um, different variations of keyword um, and keyword density. And that's one of the things that people say a lot is you need to have a, your keyword a lot on the page. If we scroll down, we've only got SEO agency featured once on the page. And it recommends having it between eight and 22 times. And we've tried it out with one. And because we've kind of gone the opposite way that everyone else is going by stuffing, we seem to have been performing quite well um, because we're not you know, repeating the same phrase for the sake of it. And we're using natural language, which Google seems to be liking. So on page optimizations, it's more about testing than following best practice. If we head over to our page as well, and go onto the SEO page, we can see that We've done a few things here. And for example, this may look like an H2, but we spoke with our developer and we implemented this SEO agency bit as a H1. Again, a bit sneaky, but it really offers a better user experience if it's SEO agency exact match isn't bigger than the rest of it. And then everything else we've put in, sort of search engine optimization, um, put nice sort of stats we've got here, some of the clients we've worked with, the fact that it's not about traffic, um, the fact that we've you know won some of the SEO um, awards at the Drum and UK Search, and just all these social cues which make people believe that we know what we're doing because we do. But just that's what the on page is for: is providing the information of what you do, offering credentials, credibility, and then a bit further down we actually go into what we do. So the technical SEO, the on page, the link building, which I'll get onto in a second, and the tracking and reporting. So. We got to that, then we got a couple of uh, testimonials and case studies. We then move on to the things we actually care about is the fact that we're not just an agency that looks for rankings and traffic, but we're ROI focused. We have a very fast turnaround time and the communication for us is we are half consultancy, half implementation partner. So communication and education consistently is something that we take very seriously. So it's on here, more testimonials, case studies, our results for software clients, um, other B2B fashion clients, more um, traditional uh, client or more traditional clients in the uh, manufacturing space. And we then have a link to all the other case studies. Frequently asked questions. So what are the questions we get asked a lot when we first have a chat to do some of the objection handling before people get in contact and then latest from the blog, whether it's our podcast or our information that we write around and then a call to action. So this is, seems to be really nice and gets really good engagement from a user journey. Uh, people you seem to have a really nice user journey as well as Google liking it. So we've managed to hit both the user and optimize it quite nicely for the Google bot as well and any other bot that comes in being whatnot. The final one and the bit where we really put a lot of focus here as an agency is if we go on to one of our tools, which is Ahrefs, we can see here that our estimated traffic is around £20,000 per month if we were spending on Google Ads or $20,000. And one of the reasons we're able to rank so highly for SEO agency in a lot of other terms um, that we're going after is because we have been building up a lot of trust with Google through building backlinks and referring domains like this, for example. So we can see that we have lots of good links with high authority from the likes of Social Media Today, Smart Insights, Unbounce, Marketing Profs. And what we've done is we've managed to create content which they think is worth sharing. So if you go on social media today, they've hosted one of our infographics which we created. And it links back to our site and we've created this and it really ties into what people in the industry care about. So we got picked up a lot. And we've then internally linked to all the pages like the SEO page, PBC agency page and everything else. So we've done this and created really nice outreach and creative link builder pieces which has really worked over the time. Now I'm getting towards the end of the 10 minutes now, which is how long I have for a video ad, so I'll keep it short. But we looked at the technical, we looked at the on-page, we looked at the link building, all of which have allowed us to rank in a highly competitive niche. And if you guys look and do the same, then feel free to reach out, no strings attached, we can have a chat about it. Have a great day, speak to you soon.